Here's a demo of ESA's web-based administration of a basic structural analysis, a good example of enforcing design guidelines through a staged user interface. In the first stage, the plate dimensions are entered. Depending upon what's being done, diagrams can be shown and manipulated in order to aid in the criteria selection process. Here, the entered dimensions clearly update the ratios of the diagram. If any parameters are entered that are outside their constraints, the user is alerted and the invalid entry is prevented. Such conditions can be fixed or dynamically calculated and serve a critical role in adhering to guidelines. A selection is made from a list of approved materials that was generated by the server, and the user moves on to the next stage. Here, the edge supports or boundary conditions are set. Again, visual aids help convey which edges will be fixed, pinned, or free. Next, the loading on the plate is configured, again through some simple and familiar UI tools. As the X and Y positions of the load are adjusted using input boxes and sliders, the diagram updates accordingly. In this application, the user adds a second concentrated load and the representation in the diagram clearly shows its presence and location. The use of such simple and clear visuals is what helps enable such efficiency within this browser-based solution where all models and analyses are actually being manipulated on the server. A few final tweaks are made and the output preferences are ready to be set. Lastly, some attributes, such as the tester's name, are entered for the report that will be generated and saved on the server when it's complete. And finally, the run is submitted. Whenever this is done, the required backend applications and processes are kicked off on the server. In this case, the analysis was quite simple, and the results are returned quickly. Some results can be figured for viewing right within the application, as shown here, while others, perhaps for more lengthy reports, are instead visible on the results section of the ESA portal. The run submission could involve a wide variety of automated tasks involving CAD manipulation, Excel recalculations, FEA or CFD, or even ERP integration. Since such processes can take quite a while to run, authors often configure their applications to provide email notification to the owner upon run completion.